Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the 12 principles of project management. Friend, today's topic is very, very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam or PMP in near future. So this is a very, very interesting and important topic for you. Friend, PMPOC 7 is the uh, short name given to the standard for project management and a guide to the project management body of knowledge. PMPOC guide 7th edition which are bundled together, they form the basics of what you need to know about managing projects for organizations that follow the PMI approach to getting work done. The standard for project management includes an introduction, the value delivery system and the 12 uh, project management principles. Now, uh, what is a principle actually? A principle is a more a rule value or fundamental truth which serves as a guide for behavior or action. Principles are not prescriptive. They don't tell you how to do something. They are not policies or goals. They simply uh, underpin the things that you should be doing. Think or principles as inalienable truths to live by or in our case to work by. The thing with principles is that they are designed to inform your uh, actions. They don't prescribe your actions. In other words, they shape how you think about project management and give you a gu guard rails for behavior while letting you lead the project any way you see fit within those parameters. The standard for project management sets out 12 principles that anyone leading projects should be able to live by. They are not specific to methodologies and will work regardless of what delivery approach you choose to use actually. So what are actually they are uh, the 12 principles of project management. So first one is the stewardship. Be a diligent, respectful and caring steward. In other words, follow the code of ethics and be a good human. Use your professional judgment to do good in the world and treat your colleagues and customer like you would want to be treated. It's odd that this needs to be called out at all, but sadly, I think that it does. Uh, like we have heard from dozens of project managers every week and many of them are talking about toxic work environment where their work and contribution are not respected and sometimes even uh, appreciated. So then next one is the team. Create a collaborative project team environment. Collaborative is literally the thing that gets project done in the uh, 21st century. We are using more and more technical tools to get work done and the tools are getting better and better at helping if we know how to use them. Stakeholders effectively engage with the stakeholders. Collaboration only works if you have people to collaborate with as engaging stakeholders in a mature and respectful way is so important for project success. We are all uh, busy that ever these days and so it helps to have a bank of techniques for engaging others that fit their working style and what kind of outcome you are looking for. Value, focus on value. So uh, I wish this was higher up in the, we can uh, discuss it later, uh, uh, in the, up in the list. If projects don't deliver value, what's the point of using them actually? However, we have to determine what value means and it's going to look different for every project. You might measure it differently too and it can change throughout a project, especially if you are using techniques like progressive elaboration or iterations to work out what you are doing as you go. The biggest impact you can make with your project management career is this one, focus on value Challenge where you don't see it and look to get more of it with everything you do. System thinking. Recognize, evaluate and respond to system interactions. 
system thinking, design thinking, seeing the business as a holistic enterprise where all the parts had hang together. The, this principle is really about breaking down silos of all kinds and using your role as a project manager to be the glue that holds everything together actually. In our job as a project manager, we have to look at how the whole organization works and make sure every part is operating as optimally as possible. Leadership Demonstrate leadership behaviors. Uh, I think this one is a pretty obvious as project manager we lead the team and we lead the project through to successful completion. If you don't step up and act as a leader then you are at risk of being seen as an administrator actually. Tailoring. Tailor based on context actually. This one is so important and it underlines the fundamentals of principles too in that they guide what steps you take instead of prescribing how to do it. Whether you are agile, hybrid or predictive, you need to tailor for size of project, maturity of PM organizational structure, budget, time scales, willingness of the people to do the work, quality outcome required and so much more. Treat each project like an individual mission and do it to the best of your ability even. If that means de deviating from what the textbooks tell you because now finally they are telling you that tailoring is expected. So we have to do it. Quality. Build quality into process and deliverables. As a project manager, you might not have much influence over processes led, led by the PMO. But you can certainly input and other feedback to try to shape how work gets done. You have a lot of influence over how deliverables are uh, delivered in a quality way. So use that influence appropriately to make sure you find the balance between gold plating and getting a decent result. A quality plan could be one of the project management artifacts you create during the project. Complexity. Navigate complexity. So basically it means to navigate something that is complex. First we have to acknowledge it and then establish how we can work within it and around it. These principles speak again to tailoring. You need to use strategies techniques and approaches that fit the level of complexity you find yourself in and that starts by accepting that it's there. Risk. Optimize risk response. This is another good one. It underpins the uh, rethinking that risk management has gone through since we started learning to manage a project. In the first project management course or project management, we uh, we have not uh, you can more uh, get more knowledge about it. Today, there is a far more widespread understanding that risk is negative is wrong, thanks to the profile raising work of people like uh, David Helston, uh, etc. Project managers shouldn't be heroes. The image of the PM who swaps is to rescue a failing project should be something from the past. A better approach is making sure that we don't need rescuing because we are doing proper risk management, governance and leadership. Adaptability and Resilience Embrace Adaptability and Resilience How do you embrace resilience? This principle is worded in a way that doesn't personally respond, uh, resonate with me with us but I get the general idea we need to be adaptable and resilient and to support our project and teams in becoming the same. Change Enable change to achieve the uh, envisioned future state. This is another principle which overlaps with another traditional organizational role that of change manager. You may have change managers in your business who work alongside you on a project you may not. You may be one. Again, 
We don't think PMI is advocating in the standard that project managers need to always take the role of change manager. But we think there is instead finally uh, an acceptance that the role of needs to involve more than completing the delivery and moving on. Change management models turn up in the PIMBOK guide as part of the discussion about project management models, methods and artifacts. So uh, friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.